Welcome on this good Friday afternoon to Lutraki for the women's super heavyweight competition. David Goldstrom together with Commonwealth Games champion David Morgan. That means all of the women you're about to see are weighing over 75 kilos. That's over 165 and a quarter pounds. It's over 11 and three quarter stones. And you'll see... Uh, Little and large and even bigger here amongst these uh, women super heavyweights. But uh, for that, this could be uh, still a very competitive category. It features Agatha Robel, the world champion last uh, year, and indeed the woman who took the world title two years ago, Russia's Albina Khomic. So a competitive competition. It's been very good all through the week. And whilst the sunshine has disappeared outside, uh, here in the hall, everybody uh, buzzing with excitement, David, for this competition because the women's super heavyweights have really come into their own now. That's right. Although we've got a massive split in body weights, as I think you worked out earlier, lightest woman in this class, around 13 stone. But, of course, the heaviest, the woman from the Ukraine, Korobka, weighing in at a huge 23 stone or 148 kilos. Yes, and so nearly <laughs> twice the uh, the weight limit, plus 75. And uh, this open weight class, which is the only way you can really describe it, means that it doesn't matter what you weigh, if you happen to lift two and a half kilos more, you will uh, get the higher ranking position. Seems somewhat unfair, and uh, we might talk about this through the afternoon here, about whether there should be yet another category. Anyway, these are the uh, competitors, and uh, Agatha Robel, the uh, lifter, arguably, that they've all got to beat. Uh, but uh, Albina Kovic there, second from the bottom of the lift there, list, uh, she could be the lifter to give Agatha the greatest trouble. Those two have crossed swords a few times in uh, recent seasons. But then, after that, David, the bronze medal... Uh, wide open if we put those two up there as the favorite then uh, could be quite interesting to see where the bronze goes so let's meet the uh, lifters 10 all in all Vasiliki uh, Kasapi from Saloniki dad's a butcher and uh, she represents Greece for Turkey Deria Atigrus European champion way back in 1997 next to her for Russia, this is uh, Albina Khomic, world champion in 2001. And the Russians have been having a good championships here in the women's division. Zuzana Kovacheva of Slovakia from uh, Trenčín, where the Europeans were held in 2001. And then uh, representing Greece, Katarina Roditi, back after a year being uh, plagued with injuries. Yulia Dovgal, the first of uh, two Ukrainians, third in the Junior Europeans last season in Italy. And now Agata Robel, the world champion for Poland. Representing Cyprus, Strovalitu. And Cyprus with their first medal at the Europeans in the men's division a couple of days ago. Now, this is Korobka, 148.44 kilos, by far the heaviest in this category. And completing the lineup, Marta Drega for Poland, fourth in the Junior Worlds last season. So those are your 10, and we're almost ready to go. So David Goldstrom and David Morgan in the Sport Hall in Nutraki. This women's super heavyweight competition just beginning, including uh, two world champions in the lineup and the junior European champion. And uh, first to go, Christina Strovalitu representing Cyprus. Seventh in the Commonwealth Games last season, and there are 70 kilos on the bar. So, not a very promising start. No, disappointing start. She can do uh, 75 without uh, any trouble at all. 
Yes, I think we're just going to have to run through her three lifts, so this competition of being a bit slow to get going. But um, Yes, yeah, just to explain that, David, there were actually only ten entrants in this particular weight category, so it would have been very hard to have made a B group for just one lifter, and it would have been very unkind. It's, it's not the most comfortable thing that Christina has to do to be out there on her own, but she's... Uh, Really, one has to say, uh, something like uh, 20, well, actually a bit more than that, about 40 kilos off the entry totals of the others there. So a couple of minutes to talk about super heavyweights. So let's talk about that uh, question, David. Here we are, over 75 kilos, and we've got this big discrepancy. We've got women in here who weigh 23 stone, some who weigh 18, plenty who weigh 15, one or two at 13. So would it be fairer if there was one more super heavyweight category? In other words, there'd be um, 75 kilos and then there'd be, what, what would you say? 90? Or 100 plus, maybe. Maybe it should be a bit heavier, maybe it should be sort of 85 to, I mean, if you look there, you've got from 86 kilos right up to 150, so. Well, 148 is a bit extreme. And uh, Christina, she's not doing the job, is she? No, she's, uh, I mean, obviously the weights are not that heavy and uh, she's not very technically proficient, so. Something very strange going on there with the, with the technique. Weightlifting, of course, not just about strength, it's about explosive power and being in the right positions at the right time. That's the uh, younger of the two poles, Marta Drago there. On the left there, the doctor who looks after Halil Mutlu. Very, very chuffed and happy. And there's the uh, big Ukrainian on the far side on the right there, 148 kilos. But look at the speed. And you need, doesn't matter, David, you, you've got to have the speed, whatever size you are. That's right, it's all about explosive power. It's all about firing off as, as many muscle cells as you can in the shortest possible time. Agatha had a tumble down the stairs about three weeks ago. She's OK. Stairs didn't come off too well. <laughs> so, Christina struggling to stay in this super heavyweight A final. Yeah, I hope she gets this, because uh, she's lifting really out on her own here, but it'd be nice if she gets the total. Now, just please take a take time. She's got half a minute. No need to rush. Well, technically a bit scrappy, but certainly the best of the three. And she's rescued the possibility of getting a total now. So you'll see the bar go uh, dramatically forwards now after that 70 kilo attempt. We're straight up to 90 kilos. Agatha Robel, the European and Junior World record holder for the snatch, the clean and jerk, and the total. Only Ding Meiyun of China, who set all the world standards in the Olympic Games, has bettered Robel in that particular department. Yes, but of course, Tang also of China holds the clean and jerk record at 167.5 yeah but Ding was an outstanding super heavyweight Olympic champion and world champion the year before in Athens in 99 really athletic this is uh, Kovacova for Slovakia 90 kilos no problem but we have to watch the body weights here because it's uh, it's absolutely vital. Kovacova, who weighed in at 98.22 kilos, so about 216 pounds, 15, 15 stone or thereabouts. Yeah. 
your time. The same lifter in two minutes or four seconds at that. I don't know whether it's any indication, David, but uh, her best total, 222.5. She put an enter total in of 220. So maybe not at her very best. Here's Agatha. Terrific uh, achievement record. And when you think about it, she's only uh, 21 years of age now. 11 world records she set, 11 junior world, 33 European and 34 junior European records in what doesn't seem to be more than a couple of seasons. A real well, the first time we saw her was in, was in Riesa, of course, wasn't it? When she, uh, she had that blackout on that clean and jerk of 125 and uh, didn't come round for about 15 minutes, if you remember. That was, the, that was really the first time we saw her. Come a long way since then. And Kovacova to follow herself with a five kilo increase. Yes, yeah, so the bar now at 95 kilos, that's 210 pounds. Yeah, she's got a PB of 112 and a half kilos, but she did that a couple of years ago. So well, I think you'll see a lot of women that had probably given up a couple of years ago coming back now because of of course, because of the Olympic Games next year. So the ones that have just come back will be just getting in their first competitions and, and slowly building towards next year. That was well controlled. It'd be nice if she just pushes herself a little bit on the third attempt now. Of course, at, at this level here, the increase of five kilos, uh, it's not so dramatic. But executes the lift well. It's good technique. So, first of the, of the poles, of the young poles coming out now. Martha on 97.5. Uh, just missed the medal in the uh, Junior Worlds last year. Only 18 years of age. Hasn't been lifting that long. Just over four. This would be her fifth season. They've got the bar rebalanced and... Drove up there, looked to be fine. Looks up to uh, Valentina Popova, who yesterday won the 69 kilo title without too much fuss and bother. And Marta Draga would like to, de like to be, in her own way, as successful as Valentina Popova. But as a super heavyweight, it's uh, pretty pretty difficult call with the sort of talent that she's up against. Bar now moving forward. 100 kilos. See the entry there. You can see Albita Komic, 140. And Achikos of uh, Turkey, 145. Yes, that's the that's the clean and jerk though. So yeah, just uh, checking those for later. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, we've got a couple around 100. You've got two and 140, one on 137.5. The uh, Greek girl on 145. Got 152.5 for Agata. So spoke to the Polish lifters about Agata, and they said that uh, she's not in a best form but the coach felt that she was good enough to come here and, and, and challenge for the gold. Well that's what I think could be interesting because I think Homic is really up for this and you know if you look at the Russian success both both the medals yesterday uh, you know Popova and then uh, Zabotnaya getting the gold in the 75 kilos I mean you know they clearly they've come here in good form so Homic might you know 
she might give uh, Agatha more of a fight than Agatha would really like. And, you know, Agatha won't want to lose here. I mean, she's, she's won the European title, she's won the world title, she wants to continue the domination. It's this psychology of being the best. <laughs> Kovacova, 100 kilos. That's a little bit disappointing for me, David. She is capable of at least 10, 12 kilos more than that. Christopher Yakabu with uh, Katerina Roditi for Greece. 99.51 kilos, 219 pounds, 15 and a half stone. And this her first attempt to take the lead with 102 and a half kilos on the bar. Only 19 from Athens. Nice, uh, good speed there. They're yeah, very well balanced. Very fast in the second phase, if you notice. Back very, very tight. Relatively slow pull off the floor and then bang. Yeah, good technique. So nice and tight and then whack. And there it is. Yeah, pretty good technician. Well, it's good. I mean, it's good, but some would say essential, to establish good habits as early as possible. Those who, those who actually create their own bad habits, the older they get, the harder they are to erase. Now, Draga taking five kilos, so nothing in particular. Just um, a little lopsided at the first attempt, but corrected, was patient and strong enough to drive up, so... This would be a new competition best. It's interesting, actually, watching the uh, Polish girls. You can tell that they all train together. They've got a lot of very similar mannerisms. You know, for example, checking that the weights are moving at the end of the bar, then, then checking that the bar is spinning. And, and a lot of them fail in this way, losing the weight behind like that. But I suppose it's... it's if they, if they all train together, they're all going to pick up habits off each other, aren't they? And of course, the, the you know these women do all train together. So Roditi with 102 and a half kilos, setting the early pace here in the hall in Lutraki. Tell you what, the weather's a bit disappointing outside. They told us it was going to be lovely all week. Well, it was we lovely came. two days ago, but uh, it's, it's gone downhill since then. It's a little grey and drizzly. That's uh, Kobotka. Korobka, I should say. Olga Korobka of the Ukraine. Yes, 23 stone of her. So, 102 and a half for the third attempt, second time of asking. Yeah, if you watch, look, checks the weights now, checks the bar. You watch. Now checks the bars moving and then... It's all part of the ritual. That's more like it. Uh, well, that's the nature of the woman there. She just... Uh, Felt it wasn't quite right, stopped, regrouped to make sure. 102 and a half kilos, and that is a new competition best. It's the bar now increasing again to 105 kilos, and this is for the 
Turkish girl. Yes, this is Daria Achigrus. Pretty experienced lifter. She's 25 years of age, David, but if you go back, I mean, she was getting a bronze medal in the World Championships back in Istanbul in 1994, European champion in 1997. She then served a two-year disqualification term. That was in 1997 after the Worlds in Thailand. That's good. That's solid. That's strong. Now, it's un unfortunate for her, in, in, in a way. She only weighs 92.69 kilos, so giving away a lot of body weight. Now, if she was heavier, obviously that would be, you know, reflected in, in even bigger poundages. Having said that, I think in the clean and jerk, I mean, she was uh, posted 145 kilos, so that's uh, right up there with the likes of uh, Homich and. Uh, Robel 152 and a half is the is the lifter who is looking to do more than anybody else in the second phase of today's competition. But Korovka 140, Komic 140, Ashigus 145 suggests that she's going to be in there with a chance of you know silver, bronze, something like that. Just depends on how this uh, unfolds. Now Yulia Dovgal or Dovhal, you can oh, say. Russians are looking good, aren't they? Well, this again, is... she's very light, only 86 kilos. Yeah, Ukrainian. Sorry, Ukrainian. Yes, keep forgetting they're not the same anymore, are they? <laughs> no. Ukraine, of course, will host next year's European Championships in Kiev, in the Ukrainian capital. That'll be uh, the first major sporting championship in uh, an Olympic sport, I believe, that uh, the Ukraine, since it became an independent republic, will have hosted, so that'll be something to look forward to and that is also a Olympic qualifying competition it's the second and final opportunity for all European lifters to earn a place in their teams for Athens 2004 now Roditi 107 and a half kilos yeah she looked good on the on the opener of 102.5 everything was fast and and in the groove she go ahead of Dovgo by lighter body weight if she does this. Oh! Well, that's a shame. Did all the hard work and then uh, relaxed the concentration just for a split second there. And you can see what happens, can't you? As soon as you relax the concentration, the weight is lost and uh, it's also when injuries can happen. Well, this is the young woman who's lost a season, really, through niggling injuries. Now, one would hope, David, that somebody else wants 107 and a half. But just having a look down the list, I'm not seeing anybody. Which means that uh, she looks as if she's going to have to follow herself. It would have been nice if she'd had an extra couple of minutes. But Yakavu. Well, the shame is that she's, she's capable of doing it. Yeah. Well, now, Yaka, uh, there's the, uh, the Greek uh, doctor and surgeon on the left there. I mean, it's, it's fantastic when you watch this, this Greek team. It's, it's complete in every sense of the word. They've got every possible skill available to help the athlete. So a big round of applause. Fingers crossed that she can do this. This is below what she's achieved before, David. But one, you know, in a, in a comeback after a season out, one wouldn't be expecting her in this first international competition to be hitting the heights. No, very conscious of the yeah. elbow. Yeah, clearly a problem with that right elbow. No problem with pulling the weight to arm's length. So the bar will now go up another two and a half kilos to 110. And uh, this should bring out the second of the Greeks. 
yeah, Vasiliki Kasipi, Kasapi from uh, Saloniki. Now this is uh, the woman whose dad's a butcher. So I don't know whether uh, Shades of Rocky, whether he gets a like uh, Stallone training by carrying loads of meat around. Hails from uh, Saloniki in the north of the country. And 110 kilos. If she's anywhere near her best, this should be fairly straightforward, David. And the junior European champion of 2002 opens up with 110 kilos. She totaled 255 in Italy last year when she won the junior European title. And on the way to that success, achieved a best snatch of 115 kilos. So five kilos the next one, and then a little bit more, I think. Well, now we go to the other end of the scale, and this is uh, Olga Korobka. Now, we just saw a few minutes ago, David, in the warm-up room. Look at the speed. Oh, she looks pretty good, 350 yeah. kilo body weight. Really gets under the bar quickly, or, uh, as you say, 23 stone of her, 325 pounds. And uh, Korobka, again, another teenager, still in the junior ranks, eighth last year in the world. But go back to uh, 2000, 2001, at uh, under 16, she was winning European titles at that age. Achikos. So this for the lead because she only weighs 92.69. Nice second effort. First one was good. That was equally proficient. Yes, she's a good technician. She's lifting well at the moment. And, of course, with the sort of kilos that she's looking to get in the clean and jerk, she's another third good lift would be exactly what she does, and just keeps her in the game. Now, Dovhal, the, the first of the two Ukrainians who uh, lifted, 86 kilos, 98, so she's really at the light end of the scale. If you take out uh, Stravolitu, the Greek girl, she's the second lightest in the class. Marta Drega at 89.45 would be the lightest in the true sense of the competition. So Achigas, well, this wouldn't uh, obviously give her the lead. It put her into uh, second place. Now Achigas going up, 115. So, yep, and. Uh, by the looks of the board there, and, and it's not unexpected. Comic Comic has also gone up. So the question is, is Robel going to come out on the 115, or is she also going to increase? Well, interesting move by Comic. I, I did 
you know, say right at the beginning, David, Russians appear to be in good form. Had a chat with... Uh, oh, she's coming out on 150. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I don't think this is such a silly idea. You know, she's perfectly, perfectly capable of just getting the first lift, getting the second one, and then seeing what she needs to do. She'll be looking at the overall championship more than anything else. She won the uh, Europeans last year and snatched 127 and a half kilos. But we know that she's probably not in that sort of form. Oh. Well, that was comfortable. Yeah, that's... That's just getting, getting one on the board there. I'll send a little message back. Very, very strong. She's well within her limits there. Do you sense uh, something? Uh, since she's become world champion, uh, she has that, you know, a little bit of extra aura about her. That's yeah. right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But here's uh, Kasapi. 20 years of age. So Kasapi. Yes, yeah, so a real fight going on for the uh, for the medals here in this snatch phase of the competition. Kasapi, 114 kilos, 22. Robel, 117.67. So this for the advantage, for a, a few moments at least. And it's interesting to look at the progress that she's made, David. Back in 2000, she was the junior European bronze medalist and she snatched 100 kilos. The next uh, year, I was 102 and a half when she took the silver then 115 kilos when she took the gold last year in Italy. So, as ever, you know, at her age, improving all the time. So, Casapi... That's right, she's got another go as well. Another so. go, so she's going to improve that, I think, uh, at least by another two and a half kilos. And it's, it's interesting, because big isn't always best. No. Generally speaking, it is, but uh, in terms of weightlifting, anyway, that was easy. Korobka, who's used two of her lives correctly, but of course, if she wants to win anything, she's got to lift more than everybody. If you think back to the men's division and Chemerkin, when Chemerkin in the late 90s was winning his world titles, but he was really... Did you regard him as a particularly athletic or just able to pick up the weight? No, I don't think he was ever athletic. And, and you know, you've got athletes like Zakharayevich weighing 60 kilos less and lifting as much or even more. Achigruz now, lightweight, so... This is going to keep her in the fight. If she stands up and she does, and that's good. Excellent. Three out of three. 92.69 kilos. Yes, yeah, so when you think of how good that is compared to uh, the other people so far that have snatched that weight, remember she's she's weighing, what, 25 uh, kilos less than uh, Agatha? giving all that weight away. Yeah, three and a half stone, something like that. But uh, So she's a quality lifter, just needs to put some more weight on. Dovgal. And I think at this championship, more than any we've seen for a while, David, we've seen this real emergence of all these young women who aspire to be Olympic champions. Oh well, she says. 
170. Quite a big jump for her, that wasn't it? I mean, she did the sort of seven and the twelve really well, and then and then perhaps should have just taken the two and a half because she is she is light. But uh, deciding that um, 117 and a half was the weight and it's just slightly too much. She's got a new PB in 112 and a half in any case. P still 120 for Comets, the announced weight for her first uh, attempt, and Kasapi. Still at school. Thirteen seconds, ten. Needs to be aware. Five seconds, bit of noise. Well, she's having a good day, David. A pretty good lift. Well, that she's enjoying it in front of the home crowd. Well, Achigus with uh, three good lifts, and now Kasapi with three. So both sets of coaches will be delighted with their lifters. And so the bar should now be moving to 120 kilos. Yeah, it and, is. Uh, and I would think that it would be for Komic of uh, Russia. Well, I think this is where, if you actually look back at the stats, David, I mean, last year in the World Championships, Komic actually snatched 132 and a half. Uh, Robel actually only got 127, sorry, 125, and then Robel came through with 162 and a half in the clean and jerk. Homic could only pick up 150 kilos, so it was a complete, complete flip flop. So clearly, Homic is determined that she's got to get an advantage here on Robel, and this is going to start her off with a, a five kilo advantage over her biggest rival. That's right, plus plus body weight, of course, because she is she is some. 14 kilos lighter than Robel. Yeah, she comes from uh, Baikal. Many of you will know that as the very strong world's biggest lake. And uh, good start for her. It's about seven hours flying time from Moscow. It's big, but unfortunately, it's cold. And even more unfortunately, it's very dirty. Listen, look at that, not even needing to go into the full squat, able to get so much height on the bar with this relatively lightweight for her. So, Robel also taking 120. And just worth uh, emphasising here, you've got Homic at 103 kilos, 226 pounds, about 16 stone, Robel 117 kilos, 18 stone-ish. So, Robel's not only going to beat her with kilos, she's got to be aware of the body weight differential as well. Yes, Robel's just got to stay in touch, hasn't she, really? Because yes. we know she's got the strength in the clean and jerk. Well, that looked like an opener, didn't it? Strength is obviously important in any lift that you have to do, David, but in this first phase, the snatch demands such precision. Yes, that's right. Controlled, precise effort. And, of course, uh, I was talking to uh, one of the Americans last night who's done a lot of work on sort of bio biomechanics of sport. And one of the things he pointed out about weightlifting, which, which is which is different to a, lo a lot of other sports, when you, if you think of the first phase, the pull, that's a bit like throwing the javelin or throwing the shot put. The difference is that once you've thrown it, that's it. In weightlifting, in essence, you actually throw it and then you have to catch it again, which is completely different. So, you, so you're getting the, gar the bar moving in one 
direction and then you have to stop it. No, she didn't get it over her head. Didn't get it high and didn't get under it. And Korobka is stopped at 115 kilos. Well, still Komic with two lifts, Agatha Robel with one lift. And as we thought, David, it is going to come down to those two. So having a look at the... Uh, the other weights there, you've got Achigros on 115 kilos now. And, of course, she's got the lightweight. Korobka needed to pick up the 120 to get the bronze model. She didn't. So Achigros has got 115. But, in fact, Kasapi of Greece, you've rightly pointed out, 117 and a half. She's actually got the bronze medal now. Right, so... Akomic and... Agatha, both deciding to go to 125 kilos. Yeah, but it's going to be Komic first, which, in a sense, gives Agatha a slight advantage. Yes, because uh, she'll know that if Komic does this, that she will have... Well, if, she, if she's looking for the gold medal on the snatch anyway, she'll have to take 127.5, and then she's got a decision, really, because she knows that she's already got the, the silver whatever... But the question is, do you take the 125 just to kind of stay as close as possible, or do you risk taking 127.5 and then perhaps missing and then ending up five or seven and a half plus body weight down? Well, she now has exactly that question to answer, though, because that was a very good snatch. And I don't think... I don't think Agatha's worried too much about winning or not winning the individual medal. What she's got to consider is, is staying close, because Homich might well go now to 130, because that's, you know, very possible for Homich to do. She lifted 132.5 kilos in the World Championships. So Agatha, who only lifted 125, and this is going to create exactly the same situation as November, David. Yes, yeah, so Agatha deciding that uh, she's not going to be winning the gold medal because the fact that she's coming out for this means that she can't win the gold on the uh, on the snatch phase. So just this is just to stay in there, stay close for the overall. Yeah, she's taking the longer term view here, but she needs this. She really needs this. Yes, needs to stay close. 120 would give a big advantage to Homich if she doesn't do this correctly. That's good. No worries. Agatha, nice little uh, grin there. And she's done what she set out to do. Skips off the stage. And now it's down to Komich. So Komic now has got an interesting decision, David, because on 125 kilos, this is where the pressure goes back on her because she could be over-ambitious and lose what she's now set up to gain. Yes, well, at the moment, she's... she's yeah, I think what she's doing, she, she knows that she's got the, the gold on the snatch. So what she's doing is she's trying... She's adding five kilos because she, she knows that Robel is much stronger on the clean and jerk. Now, if she could get this five kilos plus the body weight, it would mean that uh, Robel would have to jerk seven and a half more. Yeah. Now, may, now, even if she'd gone the 27 and got it, you know, it would have only left Robel with five kilos to catch up. So perhaps she's thinking, well, I've got one gold medal, I'm going to gamble this and hope, you know, that I can get enough distance between myself and, uh, and the pole. The interesting thing is that she did snatch 132 and a half kilos in the world. So she, in the world championships last November, she had seven and a half and light body weight, which was equivalent to 10 kilos. But she's, she's not going for that. But maybe she can produce more in the clean and jerk this time. Look at that. That was so comfortable, David. So, so comfortable. Yes, so she goes into the lead and wins the gold medal on the snatch. And uh, Robel knows exactly what she needs to do. So gold in the first phase goes to Homic of Russia, then Agata Robel getting the silver, and Vasiliki Kasapi, the junior European champion, has now got a senior European bronze. So... Nice uh, spread of medals there. And Achigos, uh, 
A little bit uh, unlucky when you consider that she's got that very light body weight and lifted so well. Just worth emphasising, I think, David, as you look at Comets there, Achigos with three out of three, Comets three out of three, Kasapi three out of three, Robel three out of three. Yeah, it's not too many failures. It's been a, been a pretty success, good success rate in this class. Yeah, eight out of 30. So that's a very high percentage of lifting. Good opener. Let's hope the cleaning jerk is as uh, effective. But there's the woman who leads. She's led before. She also uh, won the world title in uh, 2001. She only uh, snatched 127 and a half kilos and clean and jerked 155. So it's it's all down to really what she can produce in the clean and jerk homage. Yeah, she's got a personal best of 155, I believe. So she's still dangerous. That's the situation. Homage by five kilos, then Kasapi on 117 and a half, then Achigos, remember, who's, who's entered 145 kilos. She's going to be effective in the clean and jerk as well, so don't write her off from an overall medal. And then Korobka, the biggest of the class, unable to pick up the 120. Dovgal of the Ukraine ahead of Marta Drega, and then Roditi of Greece. But it started slowly, David, but warmed up nicely. We're going to take uh, a little break and then uh, we'll be back to see the women warming up for the clean and jerk. So stay with us here on Eurosport for the second half of this women's super heavyweight competition. He's the agent even the Secret Service keeps secret. You are full of surprises. Prepare for... Johnny English. Together for the first time, a unique 8-CD box set featuring some of the finest music that you'll ever experience. 8 CDs of relaxing music to help you unwind and ease the stress of modern living. A certain remedy for a world that continues to move faster and faster. Chill out moods. Over eight hours of beautiful music to soothe your spirit and ease your soul. Calming, peaceful and incredible value. But that's not all. When you buy Chill Out Moods, you'll get an exclusive CD of Feng Shui music absolutely free. Call now. All the Chill Out music you'll ever need in one superb collection. The music for your way of life. A unique collection. Euphoric and uplifting, three decades of stunning music for your way of life. Eight CDs of Chill Out Moods. Not forgetting our special and exclusive free gift. Don't miss out on this superb television offer. Call now. Well, that's the uh, scene here in the uh, Lutraki Hall. We've had uh, some really good houses, David, really good atmosphere. And I tell you, tomorrow night for uh, Kakashvilis, the first appearance of the Olympic champion since uh, Sydney, uh, this house will be packed. I can tell you, last night, there were 2,000 people locked outside the doors who couldn't get in for Boevsky's uh, competition. And that was a competition which Greece were never going to win. Yeah, so in hindsight, they could have... Uh 
could have done with a bigger hall, couldn't they? It's our little home down here. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's have a look at the uh, best of the first phase. So let's have a look at uh, Albina Khomic. And there's no doubt, David, these uh, Russians, particularly the, the women, have come particularly well prepared to these championships. Yes, they seem to have got their acts together much better organised now than they than they have been in recent years. So, come to 130. I suppose you could say the scores won all, really, in a funny sort of way, because in 2001, uh, Chomic was the European and world champion. Last year, it was Robel who was the European and world champion. Uh, so... This is a bit of a decider, but these two are young enough to go on meeting each other for quite a while. And uh, she's, she's good fun, actually, Albina, because if you see her back in the warm-up room, uh, when she goes back uh, after, you know, the first phase, she always checks on appearance, always nice to look, you know, really smart. Well, are the Russians going to get a third title or are Poland going to get their first championship in 2003 in Hilutraki? We'll be back after this on Eurosport to find out. Five horsepower, new Impressa. Subaru all wheel drive. is the Crucible Theatre. It can mean only one thing. The World Championships. And it's here on British Eurosport. The World Snooker Championships from Sheffield on British Eurosport. Well, as we left you, you saw pictures of uh, Raditi with just getting that elbow strap, David. It doesn't look too promising. Yeah, it was either elbow or shoulder. I wasn't quite, quite sure. Having said that, they're, they're well prepared. They've got two athletes in this group. Yeah, it'd just be a pity with her coming back from injury. I mean, it's, it's so frustrating, you know. Well, that's weightlifting. That's part of it. Surviving injuries like Mutlu coming back. Surviving failure like Boevsky coming back. That's what it's all about. www.weightlifting.de for all your uh, messages and questions to David and myself. Uh, you'll find a link to us uh, on that. And... Uh, if you want to have a look at the official website to catch up on all the results, uh, 
live online results uh, www.weightlifting.gr uh, and follow the link into Lutraki and uh, there's a lot of information on that website about these European Championships little summary stories and uh, as I said online results so uh, if you line your computer up you can follow this with us as we go through the uh, championship So here's the uh, Cypriot woman onto the stage, former shot putter for her country, but in really a segment of this competition on her own. She's going to lift out. Well, that certainly looked a lot more comfortable than uh, the snatch phase, David. Remember, she struggled with the first two snatches, she's got the third one, and that secures at least a total for her. She's got 165 uh, kilos. As I said, she was uh, in the Commonwealth Games, and that total that she's got at the moment is about five kilos below her personal best. Yes, yeah, but she's, she's really up against it today. I mean, this is a class field. Yes, I mean, what, what she's about, really, to be perfectly honest, is lifting to try and improve her own marks. As you said last night, you know, not everybody can win the medals and you have to set uh, achievable targets. Uh, targets where you actually push yourself a little bit, but targets that you would expect yourself to get. Otherwise, you know, there's no purpose. And so that tells us that the uh, Katarina has pulled out either with a with an elbow or shoulder injury we're not sure but either way it doesn't make that much difference she won't be carrying on in the clean and jerk yeah, we still it, have one it, we still got one greek left yeah so indeed and Kasabi's very good but I, I i just feel sorry for any athlete you know on a comeback competition and you, you know that goes wrong and as you said you know how was that injury caused on the snatch remember she, i think she, well she lost the weight behind didn't yes she, she did which just, which and I think it was her elbow. Actually. Yeah. I think it was her elbow. 145 there for Achikos, 140 just below there. That's uh, Khomic. Robel, 152 and a half. And uh, Korobka, 140 at the bottom of your screen there. Those are pretty consistent to the starting weights that the women had posted for this clean and jerk phase. It's been a good championship, thoroughly enjoyed this and looking forward to lots more, David. Can't wait for tomorrow night. I mean, it was deafening last night when Salilis was lifting and he wasn't in top form, but Kakashvilis, I think, will be going for he'll be going for the win. Yeah, I'm not sure what form he's in. Somebody said that uh, he was in the gymnasium yesterday and did 150 and 190 and looked pretty comfortable. So time will tell. Uh, I think we knew that Salidis, you know, wasn't wound up, but, you know, my, my, my information is that Kakas Rilis is not here just to come back, but he's here to come back with a victory. Because all the headlines so far in the Greek division have been uh, for the women. So, monstrous effort, but uh, wasn't rewarded. So, nobody else wants 102.5, which means that she'll have to take that weight again and follow herself. So, she'll get a couple of minutes on the clock to uh, recover. Just got an email in, David, from uh, Andrew Levick, who's been uh, enjoying the uh, competitions throughout the week. He made an interesting comment, valid one, that how the crowd here have been very, very sporting. And that's absolutely true. They have. They've been very respectful. It doesn't matter uh, from which country 
yeah, has been lifting. Obviously, they've supported the Greeks, but, you know, I can think with Boevsky last night, everybody was being, you know, really, really good and appreciating lifting, highlighting the fact that this is a knowledgeable crowd. And it's great for Lutraki because this is the biggest event they've ever had here. That's right. Yes, I mean, obviously, they're, they're, you know, they give more support to uh, to the Greeks, but uh, you're absolutely right. They've been They've been good and they've appreciated good quality lifting. Yeah, so, um, yes, I suppose uh, the crowds at Lutraki can pat themselves on the back and if there was a, an equivalent to the football's fair play award, they probably deserve one. Is there a footballer's fair play award? Yeah, there is, actually. I know you don't watch... But, oh, there are, yes, always at the World Cup, but you don't watch football, do you? No. <laughs> so here she is, uh, Stravalitu. Now, can she can she do this? Seven and a half kilos. She can do it. It's just that uh, her technique's not um, not the best. It's a bit hit and miss. So uh, she's either going to hit or miss. Now this would give her what? Two hundred and two and a half. Two hundred and two. No. Now that was better on the clean. See, technique was right. Now. No. No. Uh, actually, it wouldn't have given her anything. It would have been, uh, well, 172 and a half, which would have been... Well, it wasn't going to get... I mean, she was clearly going for personal records. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't going to get her anything. Yeah, it would have, it would have been a PB, but uh, sadly, not to be. Not on this day, anyway. But Cyprus... Uh, on the map, David... Naiden uh, Rousseff in the men's 56 kilo class, first ever weightlifting medal at European level for the Cypriots. So, you know, mm. milestone achieved for Bulgarian yeah. Cypriot. <laughs> True, yes, but I know what you mean. Not, whereas not homegrown, uh, but uh, unlike Michaela Breeze, homegrown and uh, a great bronze. Well, I was talking to somebody last night about uh, Michaela Breeze, and they were kind of, you know poo-pooing British, British weightlifting. I said, well, hang on a minute. You know, you, you take some of these athletes from, from Turkey, you, you get them trained, you give them a full-time job, you, get, you only allow them five sessions a week and see what they lift. You put them in the, in, in the same situation that our athletes are in. Our, it's much more difficult for our athletes to, to succeed at things like this because, because the backup's re really not there. Kovacova for Slovakia. First attempt, 115 on the bar, down in ninth place at 115 uh, kilos. Successfully uh, lifted, gives her 210 as you can see there, and uh, she's still 12 and a half kilos below her best. Yes, another point that uh, was being discussed last night was that. Um, you get a lot of very good lifters from Bulgaria, and, and you don't get that many good lifters from 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 England or or America, for example. And uh, you know, people were trying to explain what the reason for this was. And I was saying, well, the reason is that if you live in Bulgaria, you 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 know, it's a means of, and we've said this so many times before, it is a means of living a better life. Whereas if you live in Great Britain, you know, you can live a good life. You don't have to go in the gym six or seven hours a day. You can you can afford to go on 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 holidays just just by doing a normal job so the same kind of motivation isn't there and it becomes kind of kind of obvious when you when you look at things like the masters weightlifting and a lot of these bulgarians that have been very very good athletes in the past they never ever carry on for fun once they're finished they're finished and uh, there's a lot of ex world champions walking around uh, greece in the hotel sort of overweight and, and it's interesting to see Good opener there by Marta Draga. Yes, so uh, that goes along with the uh, personal best that she achieved in the snatch of 102 and a half. So that puts her on 220 and uh, puts her into the lead at the moment. But of course, there's still six women to come into this clean and jerk competition. Oh, I wonder how this, you know, fathoms out in her mind. She's 18 years of age. She's in the same squad as uh, Agatha Robel. But of course, you know, Agatha, a couple of years older, and 
you know, likely to stay ahead of her, it, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you're only going to get one Polish girl going in the heavyweight division for the Olympics. And, you know, if you, you actually... Uh, look, she's weighed in at 89.45, so she's not going to be able to lose weight sufficiently to go down to the under-75. She's got to stick here, hasn't she? Well, I think it goes back to the, uh, the motivation thing again. Um, but, but, perhaps if she was an English lifter in the same situation, maybe maybe uh, maybe she wouldn't carry on. Maybe she'd just think, well, I'm not going to go to the Olympics. But in Poland, you know, she's she's supported, she's paid ten times the average the average wage. She gets to travel abroad, and it kind of kind of gives her a life. So it's, it's again, it's a different situation. Yes, that that little colony of Polish lifters, as you as say, I mean, their horizons are broadened. They, they, there's an educational program that's linked to the, 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 the sporting program. So yes, it does work very well. The, the other side I was just thinking about that is 89.45. It brings us back to the subject about whether there should be another, there should category. Be another category. Well, obviously there should be, but but the trouble is you're, you're up against um, you know the fact that you've now got women's weightlifting as as well as men has doubled the competitors in the in in the Olympic Games, and I know they're trying to keep the competitors down. So, if you put another weight class in, I don't know, would you would you? Well, I suppose it, in a way, maybe you would have, you'd have the same amount of competitors, wouldn't you? This group would would just be split in two, I guess. Yeah, but yes. would that would that work? Would there be enough uh, competitors to make it a really strong category? Time would only tell. Or could you not sure where you'd, where you'd make the break if you, if you if it would be I don't know between 75 and or would you and 100 or, or would you create the opportunity by perhaps um, joining up the 48 and the 53 kilos at the bottom and therefore well, it makes, it makes more sense makes more sense maybe the women's categories need to be revised completely because of this all sorts of ideas. If you've got any ideas, we'd love to hear from you. www.weightlifting.de for David and myself. So here's Marta Draga. 50 seconds just uh, gone on the clock, so plenty of time. 122 and a half kilos on the bar. Second attempt. And this to give her a total of 225 kilos. So hooks the fingers over the thumb. Oh, pulls to the shoulders, needs to stand, which she does just about now. Needs to take a breather. And drives to arm's length. Oh. Oh. Well, that was just technique, really, on the second phase there. Although you couldn't see it from the front, the hips were, were left behind the bar. Um, you really need to get the hips underneath if you're going to keep that kind of weight overhead. I don't know if we'll be able to look at it from the side in the replay but uh, cleans has to work to stand up with this so then takes the breather drives over the head but the hips and you can see she's leaning forward you can see the weights not quite in the right place to to be balanced position wasn't strong and two choices, really. You either drop it or, or, you, or you try and run forward and get back underneath the weight. Which uh, many try and few do. Now, it's pity that for several reasons, because she was right up to her competition best, and she was also looking today for 230, David. That's what she was looking to achieve. But So this would be 225, wouldn't it? Yeah, this would be 225, and I think she's probably stuck with that, to be honest. Yes, yeah, so nobody else wanting this weight, so she's going to have to follow herself. And when this happens, actually, it's quite difficult, isn't it, David? Because you've, you've actually got to correct the fall and also get rid of the disappointment. You mustn't let yourself get disappointed with what's just, what has just happened. That's right, plus you've got, to, you've got to recover as well. And two minutes to recover and do the lift is, is, is not that long, especially when you've had a... A very hard attempt. I mean, she was really having to work to stand up with that clean. It takes a while to recover from that. But you could see when she was coming off the stage how how heavily she was breathing. Right, 30 seconds. So she's going to have to work very hard in the first phase, and then she she needs to get her hips under the bar. 
Well, a favourite writer is William Shakespeare, so to be or not to be? <laughs> well, and it's going to be answered within the next eight seconds. I wonder if she's aware of the time. Now, better. So, now, steady yourself. Drive it through and get those hips under the bar this time. That's better. Yeah, she talked herself right the way through that. And uh, good recovery. So she does finish on her competition best and uh, must wait till the next championship to try and improve on that. Samara Drega, four out of six, 225. She's the early leader in the clubhouse. So, 125 kilos should be the next weight on the bar, and this should be for the final attempt of the Slovak lifter. She's uh, two successes in the snatch. Finishing on 95, but as you pointed out, has a best of 112 and a half, so still, still on the comeback trail. And it's uh, interesting if you actually uh, see Martha Dregas, she'll sort herself out and she'll suddenly turn from being competitor to supporter for Agatha. Yeah. There's Agatha, far corner, having a little prowl. So weight's changing, bar moving up to 130. Yeah, none of the principals have changed their weights at the moment. Kovachova, seven and a half kilo increase, so this will take her to 225 as well. And wouldn't really change her position in relation to Draga because Draga's got the lighter body weight. But 225 for uh, Kovachova. Just have a little check on that in terms of her best 225 would be a pb pb total even though she's snatched 112.5 before um well 95 you mean i thought she had a personal best of 112 and a half though she had 112 and a half but she had 127 and a half 220 so that's interesting no no, no maybe the, maybe the result there is, is yes not i don't right. think that's it can't be right. No, but it doesn't matter anyway. The snatch, the snatch must be wrong because that would be a total of 240, not 222. So maybe her best snatch is 97.5 and 127.5. Or even... It's academic anyway, David. Yes, so psychologically beaten there. The first of the Ukrainians, the lighter. What a difference. This is uh, Yulia Drovgal or Dovhal, depending whether you pronounce it in a Russian or a Ukrainian manner. Uh, here she is, 86 kilos, 98. And of course, uh, Korobka is a teammate at 148.44 kilos. Well, and they're doing just what we talked about earlier chucking the weight into a position that wasn't advantageous and then trying that little run forward. And I tell you what, Yanis uh, uh, Sifamidis, the uh, referee in the centre there, blinked hard as that bar was going towards him. She didn't make any attempt to stop it once she dropped it. <laughs> yes, yeah, it wasn't... you can see again the hips left behind the bar, you see, so having to chase. As you say, it's quite hard to walk across the platform with nearly 300 pounds. There you are. I'll leave that one to you, sir. <laughs> well, you've got the protecting, the protection yeah, I've barrier seen, there. I've the seen that. I've seen, I've seen bars go over that, though. <laughs> that was a bit like the Barnes-Wallace bouncing bomb that could have just nipped over. <laughs> well, I've actually seen a in one competition, and I've, I've got it on video. I've actually seen somebody fail with their attempt the weight go off the platform, smash into the referee's table, and the referee never moved. Smash the table, he just sat there. That's why I like to see a bit of yeah. disi <laughs> discipline. A bit of discipline. <laughs> I think he'd fallen asleep, actually. That was, that was what it was. So, Agatha looking very serious. Oh, right next to Kovic. 
Well, this is this is absolutely uh, this is absolutely terrific in the warm-up room with these two sort of eyeball to eyeball. No wonder Agatha's having a little roam around. Cause... So, so I'm very impressed with Casapi. She's in the wings at the moment, but this is Dovgal. Now, what's she going to do with it this time? Slightly better split, but she's got away with it this time. Yes, that's more like it. One red. It's a majority rules. So, what's happening now? 2.47 and a half, so she's clearly into the lead. So the barbell now going to 137.5 kilos. This is uh, just reflecting on this uh, lift here. Uh, only 19, and yeah, her previous best was 225, and she was looking for 255 today. So again, so this is a per well. perfect example of a you know a young lifter you know gaining you know gaining ground. European bronze medal at junior level last season when she got the 225 and. Uh, in Italy, she snatched 100 kilos, so already, David, that was 112 and a half, so that was a really good improvement. Wow. And uh, clean and jerked, 125 in Italy. So, now, for the first time... The junior European champion herself, Casapi, already with a bronze medal in the first right, half. The first time now, the bar over 300 pounds, 140 kilos. 308 pounds. Now, this is right on the mark that she lifted when she took the junior European title. So that was September, October, but she's young. You'd expect her to pick up and move forward. She's progressed every year for the last three seasons, steadily. That's the key. So let's see what she does with this. Well, it's a pretty heavy start. But she looks determined, doesn't she? She starts just composing. Now. Well, it was on her shoulders a long time, David. And there, you know, yes, but again, it's a classic uh, Greek thing, isn't it? You know, the, the people that train together, they do, they do seem to pick up little sort of habits from each other. But this is where it sort of ebbed and flowed mentally once you got up here. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Maybe not. In the end, sadly not. Two more attempts to come. Well, this yeah. will be interesting. This is, uh, she's now... She's not clean and jerking body weight yet, but uh, snatched 115. Let's see if that extra weight is going to be of uh, any benefit to her. But that looked pretty good, pretty strong. And one of so many, David, in this class who are you know, less than you know 20 years of age. So secures the total. Yes, but it's on two. 55 and uh, and it actually puts her into the lead for the time being. Yeah, Korobka in fifth place. But very interesting, David. If you look at the the snatch uh, positions, I mean there was only two and a half kilos between the first, uh, sorry, between third, fourth, and fifth, and only five kilos between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So that bronze medal is there for the taking, and Korobka's got her chance at it. So Casapi, because she comes into this with a two and a half kilo advantage over the likes of Korobka. Well, I've got a feeling the Turk is uh, is going to do something in the clean and jerk. Yeah, Achigus, who's something Jim. interesting actually on the board has just happened. Comet has just increased to 150 <laughs> kilos for her opener. So uh, closing up again. She's not going to be given this title up easily. Now, Casapi needs this 
second difficult clean. Yeah, she's 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 struggling here. This is a it's a big opening weight to take. Big risk. Oh, oh look say, at the Dave. look at the fight! Look at the standstill, feet in line. I think they'll give her that. Two to one. Two to one. But it's two to one in her favour. Two whites and a red. And I think she really needed that because I don't I don't think she'd have wanted to come out and have to uh, to try that again. It really took a lot out of her. She was right on the limit. Really had to work out of that low position. I'm absolutely convinced that Yakovu convinced her that not only did she need to take that weight, but she needed to achieve that weight to stay in the competition. Because, you know, she's got a body weight of 114.22, and that means that, you know, she's heavier than Achigos. And that is costly for Dovgal. So that's one of Kasapi's rivals out of the way. So now the bar must surely 145 out of 145, 320 pounds, and this should see the appearance of the the Turk, the light Turk, weighed in at 92.69. So giving away a lot of body weight, but uh, nevertheless still coming in with a the very big clean and jerk now she looked technically excellent in the in the snatch phase so you know she can clean efficiently you know maximize the energy that she's actually got then as you said she she can still come through and achieve maybe that overall bronze medal well she's obviously taking more because uh, this is the second attempt of the big now, just have a look at this. Maybe she's gone up to, yes, yeah, she has 147 and a half kilos uh, for Achigos. Yeah, so the tactics all coming in now. As you said, there was a, it's a very small split between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place. So the tactics for that medal, that bronze medal, is uh, all starting to go on in the warm up room now. Yes, because Karopka and Achigos exactly the same at halfway, but Achigos the lighter. And Korobka, second good clean and jerk. So that adds another five kilos to her total, 260. And of course, Achigos has got a better, well, she's got to match it. Then she can use her body weight to get ahead or stay ahead of Korobka. And it's, well, this is, uh, I'm, I just can't see her doing this. Right, she's, the strain and pain, this is her way of, uh, you know. This is, this is Yakovu asking a lot. That 140 was a, was a very tough lift. 20 years of age from Saloniki, junior European champion. She's got 257 and a half already, and that's already a new personal best. This would be fantastic, David. This would be some kind of supreme effort. I mean, I don't know where she's going to get it from. 15 seconds to launch that bar. Now, can she get the cleat? No, Ooh, no. She tried. She okay? Yes, I think she's, she's okay. I think it's more Doc, doctors you know, disappointment than anything else. I yeah. Think. Yeah, she's she. Uh, <laughs> it's good to. <laughs> but you you've got to put this in context. She's a baby, really, and you know she's doing awfully well. And uh, just acknowledging the support that she's been given by this Lutraki crowd. Yakovu, don't worry, says Yakovu, we'll get there. I'll help you, I'll take you there. 
Achigos in the wings. 147 and a half kilos going on the bar. But this is the drama. Oof. <laughs> But she tried, she gave it her best shot. Now, you know, this girl, this girl could be dangerous. She snatched 115, so... Well, now, with Kasapi out of the way, it's Korobka who's at the top with 260. Of course, Achigos, this is her first attempt. So, this is going to give her, what, 262 and a half? Yes. Yes. So this will put her into the lead. And it then will throw the pressure on to Korobka. These Turkish girls have looked really strong this week, haven't they? They're obviously training hard, motivated. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> uh, a little bit of uh, superstition there, and Achigos... Give me away so much body weight, but yeah. still doing huge lifts. I mean, she's only 92 kilos. What would she be doing if she was... Uh, yeah, 92 you know, 100, versus 148. It's not I mean, fair, it's really, not is it? Really. <laughs> it's not fair, but she's, she's but she's winning. Yes. So, Korobka now has got to take. Um, well, she's got to take uh, five kilos, doesn't she? Got to take five kilos. Well, what is Korobka going to do? Korobka's got to take uh, one. Korobka would have to take 150. Well, she will, she's, she will do. But in turn, this Komic... Is gonna, this, this is going to tell the tale for me. Is Komic in good form? She's got a best clean and jerk of 155, so she's she's putting herself under a bit of pressure with this. I think Komic is in good form. And you remember, she did this in the snatch phase. She raised her starting weight and, you know, sent a little message to Agatha. Agatha didn't panic, matched her, said, I can deal with you on the clean and jerk. Now we're about to find no, she out. She looks very strong. That was well. That's that was comfortable. Yeah, that's the best I've seen her. Agatha's got some some work to do. Yeah, this is two world champions at each other, head to head. The 2001 champion in picture, the 2002 champion yet to come out for her first clean and jerk. Good yes, stuff. The Russians and the and the, the Turks are looking. In great form, poles are, seem to be down slightly for this championship. Yeah, well, it, you know, teams and individual athletes all have a different view of, you know, the year ahead. And in this case, the year ahead is the Olympic preparatory year. So we'll see. But first, before we see, well, hang on, this is interesting. So 152 and a half is going to be Rubble, which is what she posted. So Korobka, and this essentially is the bronze medal lift for Korobka. If she's got any chance, she's got to lift this and then hope that Achikos fails. No, it's Achikos who, with her first lift, has moved up from fourth place at the halfway stage into overall bronze. And, of course, David has two more clean and jerk attempts, so he's guaranteed, at worst, the bronze medal in the cleaning jerk I could be could be better. I wouldn't be surprised if she if she took the gold in the cleaning jerk because of course she's got this body weight advantage. You never know. So Robel now to come in on 152.5. Well, this is great stuff. Yet another competition going right the way down to the wire. Yes. Well, this will tell the tale. Komic very confident with 150. So let's see what uh, what kind of condition Robel. Robel already needs 157.5 to go ahead, but of course Komic still has two lifts remaining. Yeah, but this is to at least reduce the gap. Forget the body weight, but to reduce the gap by two well, and a half. Well, this is to guarantee the the silver overall, isn't it? And then then she can kind of wait if she wants. The reigning world champion puts the bar on her shoulders, drives up. Now, how strong overhead? I get a composing.
Well, I suppose having seen a lift from either woman, you, you know, impression would tell you that Homage might. It's interesting, Agatha. I've spoken to her about this on many occasions. When she cleans in competition, if you watch it, if you watch her right leg, it goes back. Both legs should just come apart. You can't see it there, but the right leg goes back. And I said to her, you know, what, you know, have you, have you ever noticed it or tried to correct that problem? And she said, I never do it in training. Only happens in competition. But it causes a problem because, you know, she's, un, she's unbalanced. So, Achigos of Turkey taking a seven and a half kilo jump knowing that the third overall is now secure so i guess because of course there's three medals in this competition snatch jerk and total she's uh, got her sights set on at least one gold and of course if she succeeds with this it means that Komic and Robel will have to do at least 157.5 to uh, to beat her in this particular discipline So this to put the pressure on. Oh, she's confident. Is she confident? Had to wait a little longer than she would have liked for the three whites, but she's got it. And 155 kilos, that's seven and a half kilo increase, puts her up to 270. Well, that could be a gold medal on the, on the cleaning jerk. Absolutely. Because the other two are going to have to sort of fight it out kilo for kilo whereas she can just kind of forget about it now she knows she's she knows she's probably you know looking at no more than a bronze on the overall and she can just concentrate all her effort into into building that clean and jerk yeah, just got an email in David supporting what you were saying just a few moments ago about the British lifters and how you know we start to get good lifters at 16 but then as they move forward to college and ultimately to work it becomes so much more difficult for them to combine you know training and you know either an educational course or indeed a work commitment well we don't have the we don't have the setup it's not it's not an important um, sport in Great Britain anyway now this really gets interesting now we got six uh, I should say five lifts to go and Homic on 155 which is her competition best well this is going to put massive pressure on Agatha and that's I mean she's looking really good it's the best I've seen her I mean look at that very confident so that means Robel needs at least 162.5 and I think probably what she's going to do is wait wait until Comic has finished and then take what she needs to win. I mean, that would be the sensible thing. She's got the uh, well, she, silver medal guaranteed. Well, given... Uh, remember that Comic has got another attempt to come, but Robel is now in exactly the same situation as she was last November, David, where she snatched 125 kilos and came through with 162.5 to win with a total of 287.5. Now, the difference there was that Comic actually snatched 132.5, but only clean and jerked 150. So it's in the clean and jerk that we're really seeing the improvement now. Yeah, Robles, Robles... Oh, what, what have we got? 162.5. Yeah, that's exactly what uh, exactly what she needs at the moment, providing Comich doesn't do any more. Now, I, I I think what Comich will do is they'll go 157.5, meaning that Robo will need 165, and then I think she'll just sit and she'll hope that it's enough. Yeah. And in this case, I I think it probably is because Robo was struggling a bit with that 52.5. Having said that, she's a good competitor. She doesn't like to lose. What a championship, eh, David? This is terrific. And Achigos to play her part as well in this. Well, Achigos at the moment is leading the clean and jerk by uh, virtue of lighter body weight. This would this would take her lead further. I mean that uh, the other two would have to do at least 160 to um, to take the gold on the clean and jerk away from her. Yeah, which Komic might refuse, but Robel cannot avoid. Ooh. Well, hang on. Just... No, no. I think uh, I think that 155. I think when when she did it, the realization of just how heavy it was just hit her, and uh, she decided that uh, she's going to call it a day and hope that no one else lifts any more. 
Well, it yeah, didn't. Ten, didn't. Uh, uh, she could have picked it up again. Yeah, but it is. It's, it was. Uh, she'd already been beaten mentally. You know, the 155 was it was it was a big lift for her. She she put a supreme effort in. So she is the overall bronze medalist with uh, 270 kilos. Korobka in fourth place currently, ahead of Kasapi, who's got the consolation, of course, of a bronze medal from the first yes. half of this competition. Clock's still ticking away because, as you said, she could have taken it again because she didn't pull it past the knee. She's walked off the platform, but they have to let the time run out. Run out because technically she hasn't made an attempt because, of course, the bar has to pass the knees. So time's out, no lift. Now, the question is, what's Comet going to take, 157.5? Or is she going to take 160? Well, 157.5 is on the bar. I would say, if I was coaching her, I'd have her take 150. Well, she's going to go 160. Well, she, she, if she does this, it means that Robles going to have to do 167.5. Um, then this would be a personal best by it, five kilos for her. It also happens to be equal to the clean and jerk world record of Tang Guan Hong. So she's she's really, really, really trying to... the pressure on. She's turning the screw on Agatha mm. Robel, saying, I am good and I can beat you. Now, big question. If she's got this wrong, she will possibly throw the world title away. But if she gets this, David... Robel is going to have to pull out a supreme effort and not something I think she would have liked to face here in the Europeans. No, I think, I think there is a possibility that Robel could do the 62.5. I think it's an outside possibility, but I don't think there's any chance that she's going to do 167.5. I just can't see it. Could be wrong. Comets cleans well. That's another good clean. Oh, the door is open. The door is open for Robel, and you were arguably, David, spot on that she was greedy, and 157 and a half would have been the more prudent weight to have left on that bar. Well, the other thing to, to note also is that uh, the the uh, Turk is still in the gold medal position on the clean and jerk. By and now guaranteed body weight. You know. And now guaranteed a silver at least. So, this is it. One lift. In fact, she's got two attempts, but this lift, I'm sure if Robel does this, she, she won't bother with another one. So the world champion of 2002, the European champion of 2002. Yes, history repeating itself. She knows exactly what she needs. All other competitors have finished their attempts. Agatha is left. Yeah. This lift will give Last. her the, the European title, but it's, it's a lot to ask. Last time, it was in November in a packed Torva Hall on our home, own home stage in front of a Polish crowd in Warsaw. Now, here in Greece. Well, we know she can do it in full. The question is, does she have the kind of form that she needs for 162.5? 25 seconds. So Water. watch that right leg. Let's see if that right leg goes back again. All to a hush. Well, not this time. Psychologically beaten. Is she going to try again? Well, that would. Uh, I well, mean, she's what, got another attempt. I, I Is she can't. Gonna try again. Well, that's that's. I mean, that's really. I mean, I'm surprised. Looks as it, if it takes, takes me back to David Reza, Ronnie Vella and Chemerkin. Do you remember Ronnie Vella? He psychologically, psychologically he destroyed Chemerkin. Destroyed Chemerkin and, in a, and, and Komic, even with that failure, has done enough to put the self-belief out of Agatha today. Now, I'm really surprised about that. Yes, well, the Polish girls told me that Agatha was uh, was not at her best. Komic, though, ever improving. I mean, that 130 snatch, she could have done more. She cleaned the 160, so... Well, to be fair to uh, Komic, she's won this super heavyweight championship for women 
with a total of 285 kilos. That is two and a half kilos more than she produced last November. And it's the best total. Just checking on that 285, it's a new personal best for her. So she's come here, you know, really prepared to, to do battle with Agatha. Uh, at the end of the day, she's won that fight. She's made it two to one now over the past three seasons. Mm. And, you know, Agatha now knows that she's got, you know, certainly a big European rival. Back. And as well as, uh, you know, whoever the Chinese turn out in Vancouver at the Worlds, you know, if they produce Ding or anyone like Ding, then both of these girls have got, you know, a real contender to deal with. But good competition, and uh, Achigos, as a result of all that, is the clean and jerk European champion with 155. So it seems to me that uh, almost everybody, bar Agata, has got something out of this. Young Cassipi for Greece with the bronze in the uh, first phase. Well, Agata's got the, the silver overall. Yeah, but she's not. She, silver's not what Agata's about. Gold medals are what Agata's about. But I think Agatha's a clever lady, you know. She, she knows and she knew that it wasn't within her to do that. She wasn't going to then go and take a third lift and do damage to herself. Well, that's right. She's got an injured wrist, an injured back and a, and a, and a, and a slightly dodgy knee at the moment. So and she's maybe fallen long down. term it was the wise thing to do. And she's fallen downstairs as well. That's right. <laughs> So another look there at Komech's winning snatch of 130. Well, what a run for the Russians, David. I mean, they're in uh, storming form. Uh, here's the clean and jerk faction figures. Delia Achigos, the light body weight, 92.69. Played her cards extremely well. Uh, didn't get the 157.5, but body weight in the end, denying Komic and Robel the uh, gold medal in the cleaning joke. So well done to her. Then the big uh, Olga Korobka in uh, fourth place, but still to reach 20 years of age. And Kasapi, a brave attempt as well to stay in the overall competition. And Roditi there at the bottom, uh, forced to pull out with that elbow injury which he uh, sustained in the snatch phase of the competition. Overall, uh, here it is, uh, Abina Komic with a new personal best, 285, ahead of Agata Robel with uh, Achigos of Turkey taking the overall bronze. So she'll be pretty pleased with that. And Korobko, as you can see, in fourth place by 10 kilos. So Natalia Sabolatnaya yesterday, brilliant find in the women's 75 kilos. Valentina Popova, 90 minutes before her, getting the women's 69 kilo class. And now, Khomic for Russia, giving them three women's championships in the 69, 75 and the super heavyweight uh, class. So that's where the Russians are a real force to be reckoned with. Well, we've got to uh, run away because we've got the men's uh, 77 kilos uh, coming up very shortly. That, of course, is at uh, 7 o'clock Central European time, 6 o'clock for all of you with us on British Eurosport. From David Morgan and myself, uh, thanks for your company. Do try and join us in uh, an hour from now, a little less than that, to see who will win the men's 77 kilo final.